So, Monday morning again, start of a new week. Um, different vlog this week, a um, lot going on this week, um, so there's a lot to pack in. So what I'm going to do is just hit the VT and have a look and see how our, um, how our week went. Right, my day is taken up with washing two motorhomes off. So I'm going to start off with the auto trail. And then hopefully if I've got time, I can get the compass done. So that's my day. Washing the two vans off. So that's the first motorhome done, got to do the second one. But what I must say is, what better way of spending your day when you've got the sun out, great spring day, um, and just washing off a motorhome, basically. Um, yeah, so first one's done. I'm going to get John now to help me shift the van over and put it on the office side because I do need to give it a clean, a clean inside. Um, and then I think I'm going to have a cup of tea and then I'm going to start on the second one. Right, so let's go and have a look and see how John's getting on with the ace. Video camera again. Can you change the pump? Yeah. Yeah, it's done a tiny little leak. Why was he leaking on? Just from the... the seamers. I mean, it's in the rust there, can't you? It's starting to go. Again, that's through not draining down. Um, to be honest, I think it's the original pump for the van, so I would say it's just old age. Because we drained it down, so it would be drained down all right. So, so you're not taking blame for it then? <laughs> no. There's <laughs> probably a date stamp on here somewhere. Uh, should be a date stamp, but... It's lasted well then, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't. That, that, that is an old pump. Uh, it is an old one, yeah. isn't it? So we put a sure flow on, as you can just see down there. There's no point trying to fix them or anything, as it really it's easy to just put a new one on. No, I think they do do seal kits, but if it because it looks pretty old, there's no point in trying to mess around with it. Okay, what's the other problem? The step. Yeah, yeah the step is um, looks like the the drive from the motor to the actual corner of the step is broken I think I'm gonna to have to strip it further to basically the little square drive that comes through it just looks like it's hanging off right. in fact oh there you go you can pull it out it fell off. yeah if you go the other side you'll see it's broken is it working uh, the motor's working. working yeah yeah it might be working fine it's just, <laughs> just that um, maybe I'll buy this that arc or where am I looking John uh, where the arc is in the corner so up there. Yeah. It's probably you could probably see now where I've pulled it round. There should be a shiny bit. Ah, yeah. That's broken. So we'll, I think you can get a new one of those. So we'll have to have a look because the steps actually not that bad. There's no real massive play in it. Are you taking the step off then? Uh, no, I don't think I don't think you need to to do it. I will have a look though. Right. Anything else for this one?
Right, so make sure he's in. What we try and do, park it in the compound. Into the porter cabin. Sorry? What we try and do, park it in the porter cabin. Mm. Yeah. yeah, there's enough. Right, so all I've got to do now is to clean it out. I'll show you this. This is a little uh, motor trail T615. Let's have a look inside. I do like to check inside after I've washed the van off as well. Um, just checking any of, the, any of the skylights and just checking in the bathroom. No water's come through. So, um, two berth motor home. As you can see with the bench seats, they'll make up into a double. And it's a four berth actually, sorry. You've got your over cab bed, but it is only two belted seats. Um, as I said, it's a 2018. You've got your kitchen area at the back with your fridge. And then you've got your fire um, wardrobe. And then you've got your separate shower and toilet. I must admit, I do like the worktops. They're nice, the worktops are in the cupboards. And I do like that sink. I think the only thing putting me off that sink is I think it's quite close to the wall. But that's a nice sink, that is. And then we've also got a microwave above. So, right, so I'll give this a Uber out tomorrow. And then this one's ready to go. Um, and I think I'm going to have a cup of tea. And then I'm going to um, wash off the other one. Right, cup of tea. Bought a few bits for John for the Ace. So now, um, let's get the compass all washed off. Okay, that's the compass um, done. I've got a bit of a sweat on. I've enjoyed that this afternoon. I'm really pleased I've got both fans washed off now. And um, this little compass. I'm really pleased how it's come up. Look at that. How nice is that? So we'll go and check inside. And I might as well show you as well. It's the Compass Avant Guard 100. It's actually a five berth, so you've got your dinette. You have your bench seat, um, two belted seats, and then also the two at the front, and then you have the over cab bed. Um, we have a sink here, and then at the back, we have, um, yeah, it's just hobs. Have a look, drill. And then we have a combined shower and toilet. So there we go. That'd be a nice little starter van for somebody. And that's on a Peugeot chassis. So just check the skylights are looking good. Checking nothing's come through. So there you go. Five berth motor home. Compass Avant Guard. So yesterday I cleaned off the auto trail on the outside and now I'm going to go through the inside and just give it a quick going over because it's quite tidy anyway so I'll go through the inside of this auto trail. <music>
Right, we have a problem with this Ford. It's Ford Transit, isn't it, Adam? Yeah. Um, so Adam, the mechanic, come round. He's a little bit shy at the moment, but we'll soon change that. That's A to B garages. So this Ford Transit, it wasn't starting, was it? No. So first thing we did is we checked the battery. Yep. Then we checked um, the starter motor. Check the starter motor. And we had 12 volts there, but no ignition feed from the ignition switch. 12 volts with no ignition ignition feed. So we test back to the ignition barrel. The ignition barrel is working. And then yep. we've traced the wiring into the fuse box and basically got it down to the relay wasn't clicking across and sending the power. Right, so you took the relay out, ordered another one, and I'll just show you here. That's the new relay, isn't it? Yeah, that's the starter relay. So shall we see if it starts? Try it. I hope it does. So I'm just going to try and see if it starts. And there we go. So the problem we have is the relay, the relay there, and now we've got everything started. So, yes, another day of washing vans off. So, I'm back in the compound again. And here we have a Corrado, a T135. So I'm going to get this all washed off. And we can send this on its way as well. So, I'll get it washed off first then. What I'll do is I'll show you the inside and so you can have a look at the layout of it. Right, so that's the last one of the three um, done now. So I think it's going to rain. So it's come up really well. So I thought I'd show you inside the Corrado. So let's have a look. So here we go to the Ford chassis. It's the fixed bed, typical European layout. So there you go, you've got your dinette. And then show you the bathroom. And it's separate shower, the toilet, basin, and there you've got your fixed bed. And you've got your two belted seats. Like I say, it's on a Ford chassis. So that's the Corrado. Right, so today I'm going to be washing off yet another motor home this is a bailey um and then it just needs a quick clean inside and that can go on the um internet and then what we've got here we've got the ace with our broken step and now we have new step so what john's going to be putting that one on I'm putting the new step on. Okay, right, we're in the middle of the week now. Um, all I seem to have been doing this week is washing vans off, and I've got another van to wash off. I don't really mind, to be honest, because it's a really nice day. Um, so what I've got here, I've got a Bailey Advance. There we go. When I've washed it all off, um, we'll go inside and have a look at the layout. So the sun's out, birds are singing. So what better way to wash your van off? So, off we go. That's Bailey all um, washed off. There you can see. Nice clean Bailey Advance 762. So let's have a look inside. Let's check my scar lights. Make sure everything's all right with my scar lights. Let's come in. It's coming. So let's have a look at this fan. So we have a dinette at the front, and then we get um, two um, single beds with a kitchen, and then 
at the back we have the um, separate shower toilet I like the mirror and you get your sink so again a big spacious van this is so we'll get this one ready to go up on sale so we have a look and see how many miles it's done it's 2019 and it's done 8,900 so that's 9,000 miles so I'll give this a hoover out this afternoon now um, and we can get this all ready video pictured to go up on the internet and there we go got the trim system so there's your barely advance So you can have all the plans in the world, um, but with us, we are very weathering, um, weathered down to the weather really. Um, so today, as you can see, it's thrown it down. So I'll just check what John's doing. You do the pump, John? No. No? No. Why? Doing the pump. I mean, sorry, the tap. Yeah, right. Have you done it? Yeah. Oh, all by yourself? Hey, all by yourself. <laughs> so we've got a new tap on the ace now, haven't we? Yes. Any leaks anywhere else? No. Look at you. <sighs> so that's the tap done. That's the step done. Are we nearly done on this? Yeah. Right. And then now I've got the short straw to clean it out. And then this one can then go off to the customer who's brought the van. So today, we'll move inside today, and we've got Finn. What are you doing today, Finn? Hiya. Uh, I'm just updating the website at the moment, just getting a little uh, COVID update on there, ready for April 12th when we're allowed to open back up again. And then we're going to start putting the vans on, aren't we? Yeah, we've Finn. got, got uh, two ready to go up so far, um, and then we'll throughout this week and next week we'll be getting uh, even more ready. And you just downloading a video aren't you yeah we've just got that one exporting that's the uh, auto trail delaware s uh, full walk round review which will be on youtube at some point right busy busy <laughs> so <laughs> even though we're training there's still plenty of things to do uh, so for me i'm going to what am i going to do i've got paperwork to do uh ooh, it's wages as well i've got to do the wages um and if it does stop, I will get out and try and uh, finish off that auto trail. So if not, then I'm going to have to do the auto trail tomorrow. So whatever I was going to do tomorrow, which was normally paperwork day, I'll do today, if you understand that. 